today's culinary journey starts with cherry chips. Does anyone know what our project is for the day? Can you guess? What's going on, babe? As many of you know, we've been using this Coleman camp oven for over four years. It's all right, Pistol. And um, it's just wearing out. The heat's got it all warped. Um, last month, the gas one we had previously put work in. So we were cooking scones. And so I cooked scones in this on top of a fire, which didn't help. So we decided to order a new one, which we just got in. So I've been wondering what it would be like if someone could actually, I used to have a little chief smoker and I thought, what if someone was to try to smoke something in this? So this one's got to go. The door's fallen off like three times lately and I keep trying to repair it. So we're gonna try and smoke some fish. I think it's gonna work. So what's the theory here? Well, we're gonna put the wood chips down there and I'm going to put the fish on the rack here. Okay. And I'm going to try to regulate the temperature between 165 and 175. A few hours? Four hours? A couple hours, I suspect. I'll check the internal temperature of the big pieces. Okay. Maybe when I get like 140, they're done. When we were in uh, um, Key Largo the other day, we were visiting some friends. And they gave us a couple of kingfish steaks, which we froze. And then I picked up a couple of salmon steaks because I thought if I'm going to do this, I may as well fill the tray up. Yeah. Okay, so I... I brine those in a real basic uh, third of a cup kosher salt with a cup of brown sugar and a quart of water overnight. Then let them set in the refrigerator uncovered for like eight hours. And now we're going to see what happens. I see smoke. Well, I had a heck of a time because I couldn't figure out why I couldn't keep it cool. And the sun was beating on the thermostat and it was hotter. Or even too hot. So now I got it smoking and uh, the sun's not hitting this. It's about 170. So. Nice. Low and slow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. See what it looks like. Wow. Okay. Okay. That looked legit. So while this is still going, I'm going to show you. Dave went for a ride today. We're at the Santos Trailhead Campground in Florida, and he took the mountain bike out. So check this out. Okay. Are we done? Here we go. The kingfish is coming out. Better get your... <laughs> <laughs> this Sam oven is done. Wow, look at that. Now we gotta let this cool before we do anything with it. Yeah. Would you recommend smoking in a Coleman camp oven? No. It seemed a little tedious. <laughs> it was so much It's work. not the right tool for the job. <laughs> this thing is so done. We made it work. <laughs> I'm done with this thing. Uh, we'll get back to you after these cool down. How's this white fish? It's had time to cool. And it's uh, king mackerel. Is that what it is, I think? 
Is it so good? Let me try it. It looks, it looks delicate. This is, could have a little more flavor in mm -hmm. it. It's a kind of a thicker, fattier fish, so it didn't take as much of the brine. Mm -hmm. But the salmon, I did the same brine. <clears throat> yeah, this is, the white fish is very mild. And this um, was a lot softer and it took a lot more of the brine. It'll lend itself well to a salmon schmear. So what all do you put in your salmon dip? Looks like we got sour cream, cream cheese, onion powder, and garlic powder. Is that it? That's all I ever did. Well, actually, sometimes I put a little hot sauce in it. Dave's in wing it mode. I'm so there. equal parts cream cheese, sour cream. Then I'll just kind of go from there until I get the right texture. And the humidity's gotten to it. Florida. <laughs> uh -huh. See you down the road. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. <laughs>